Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's podcast I want to talk about loving people who are hard to love, like difficult people. I've written a whole book on this and I will be actually, this year, downloading a lot of podcasts from my book. It's called It's All About Love. And today's podcast is mostly the beginning of doing this kind of work. So there's sort of three kinds of love. There's self-love, where you love yourself and you look after yourself and we were taught, I suppose, when we were young, you're not supposed to be like that. But if you don't love yourself, I think your capacity to love other people is quite diminished. Then there's conditional love, where you love people. And it has more control in it. You love them, but there's some control issues you have with them. And if they don't do what you want, you punish them in various ways and withdraw the love. So it's like a off-on switch, the conditional love one. And the last love which I think is the best love and the one we're all trying to attain is unconditional love, where the switch is always on, even when people are being difficult. We might need to uh, step back a bit and have a bit of space from them, uh, maybe quarantine them for a while in a nice way until we can actually come from that place of unconditional love. This is the hardest love, unconditional love. To love someone unconditionally who's difficult, who's making your life a nightmare, is quite a difficult thing to do is quite a hard thing to do and it takes a lot of maneuvering and also a lot of work on yourself to do it. I'm not suggesting in this podcast that you necessarily be with people who are abusive or are dangerous to you. We're not talking about that. I'm just talking about the different sorts of love. So when I'm talking about unconditional love, I would be talking about the fact that you do want to have these people in your life. They could be family or friends and even some work colleagues. And it's important that you maintain the relationship because there are things that are good about it. However, they are just difficult people and some people are really, really hard to love. You will find that if you have trouble loving somebody, you will often find that person you're having trouble loving is deficit in love. This is what I've noticed. They don't, they don't have a lot of love in their being. They don't have a, love, a lot of love in their way they feel and uh, there's not very much love in, in actually in them. They usually don't love themselves either and that translates to not being able to convert that into loving other people. They will be needy perhaps but that's different to love. With difficult people when you want to love them unconditionally you'll need to protect yourself and you'll need to do it in stages. If you're sick or going through a lot of hardship yourself this is not the time to be seeing them every day. You might need to have a little bit of space from them. But if you want to maintain that relationship, you can still send them love and say things in your prayers and be sending little gifts or texts to them to encourage them whilst protecting yourself. You need to protect yourself a little bit. You will find that there will be two sets of people in your life as well. And it's really good that you work out who's who. I'd make a list if I were you. There's the unconditional love people. They're always there. They always support you. They don't judge. They might look at you sometimes like, what the hell are you doing? Oh, really? But they will still stand there through thick and thin. They're the thick and thin people. So even when it gets really that you're not doing what they think, maybe they think you should leave that relationship or quit work or uh, take time off when you're not doing it, they won't punish you in any way. They just go, okay, really not happy, I think you should do it, I'm worried about you, but I'm still here to support you. That's unconditional love. There's no conditions with it. They just love you. They accept all of you when you're cranky, when you're great, when you're moody. They just accept all of it. And they sort of work around you. They're wonderful, that group. You'll probably find they're not a big group when you really start breaking down your groups. The other group is the conditional love people. These people are much more controlling they're much more self-righteous and moralistic and they think that they've got it all together and you should get your, all your stuff together too. They might not understand your belief systems and can be quite judgmental. So they vacillate between love and then control. So they will love you but then if you do something that they told you not to do or you don't like, then they will either step away from you, shut you out, or punish you, some give you the silent treatment or whatever, and then they might come back in later. They don't, they have an off-on switch. If you're doing what they want, the switch is on. When you're not doing what they want, the switch is off. 
they're very easy to see once you see the switch off on and you can see about their behaviors with you i found that people who love you conditionally can be either aggressive and very often very passive aggressive they don't want to show that they're angry so they'll be passive aggressive with you and use you can look up on google passive aggressive and aggressive and see the difference and this is what help you understand why they they're in and out and they chop and change on you they're not the people to ring up at three o'clock in the morning when you've done something stupid you bring the unconditional friend for that one okay because the conditional one might not come and they'll give you a big lecture they're also very good at lectures conditional people love giving you a lecture about what you've done wrong and they can often make you feel shame or humiliated and there's like a, a you only accept it into the room when you behave yourself and if you don't behave according to the rules you're not allowed in the room for a while i was brought up in a conditional love environment then I married someone who loved me conditionally and I loved him unconditionally. And it was only towards the end of the marriage I started to realise that was what the basic difference was. That yes, he loved me, but it was conditional and I loved him and it was unconditional. And it made a vast difference in our relationships and who got the better deal. <laughs> and I know who got the better deal in the end there. I suggest and encourage you to love people unconditionally. You will find it very liberating for you as well you will have to have boundaries though that's what i wanted to do this little podcast about they can't just trample over your boundaries the naughty ones and you will have to also have boundaries for yourself if you're not well or you can't cope that doesn't mean you don't love them it's just right now i couldn't quite be there for you because my sister's in hospital and she's very ill and i can't come over and help you move it will be those sort of boundaries so you make your own boundaries it's a really high form of love. It's quite hard to attain and with difficult people, it can be quite a hard work thing to do because if you're with someone who's unconditional, you don't have to say anything or do anything because they just read it and they are the same as you. But if you're unconditional and they're conditional, you'll land up having trouble and difficulties. It's important that you love yourself first in these situations. Because people who are conditional often are quite selfish, I found. They're more selfish and they're more narcissistic. Anyhow, um, they live in a little bit of a bubble of their own, on their own little island of, of me. Therefore, you will have to make sure that you come first when it's important for you. And that's not, not being loving. That's the boundaries I'm talking about. Watch yourself and see when you're also loving conditionally it's really easy to fall into it you'll know it because you will be punishing you will say mean things you will um, be avoiding them you'll give them the silent treatment you will do be passive aggressive it'll be all those sort of characteristics that go with it and if you've come out of a conditional upbringing you'll go very quickly to those places trying to turn yourself from that to love someone unconditionally will be a process it's like a process and sometimes you'll find yourself falling back and your first thing will be is like well well i'm not going to bring them and i'm not going to do that and no 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 and you'll be like that and that's that old pattern then you've got to go okay i want to love that person unconditionally i want them in my life so maybe i need to step back a little bit and do some work on myself let go of the anger and the hurt they've caused in me or whatever that emotion is they've upset you release that and then step forward again but you might need time to clean up how you feel. I think it's great to have an unconditional love relationship. It's the best one. And you both respect each other's boundaries and no one gets punished. And I think that's the greatest word I would use for you to see the difference because if someone loves you unconditionally, they don't punish you. They might have to take a little bit of time out for you if you, you know, you're being a little bit difficult but they won't actually punish you and that will make a big difference. For me, I found that the, that was the strongest difference, the punishment. And if you start seeing yourself doing that to people, then you know you're in a conditional love place. With unconditional love, you'll also feel happier. It's quite liberating love, loving someone. Can, you just love them and they often be idiots and you watch it and they go wreck their life and you just stand there and then they come back and you just still stand there. That's what you do. 
you love them unconditionally and it's a wonderful form of love people can do it with their children some people think they do it with their children but they're not they're the punishing ones you know, those parents are always punishing and controlling they're not loving unconditionally and you you think that because they're your children you will just do that automatically but i think you should have a look at that because it's not an automatic response particularly if you've come out of conditional love um home yourself you just start doing the same things you used to, they used to do to you that you hated so dealing with the so getting back to dealing with the difficult people how to do it i think the best way is to love a difficult person is to love them unconditionally let them have them live let go of all your control things with them let them be who they want to be just love them support them when you can except when they don't take your advice or go and do dumb things in your opinion keep loving them keep being there if they are too difficult put your boundary up have some just quarantine them a little bit you don't say anything to them you just have a bit more space from them and you do know that you have to put yourself first anyhow like love yourself enough that if that person becomes too much in your life and won't respect the boundaries and always making your life difficult or dangerous then you need to make different decisions and maybe you need to have time out from them because we still can love them unconditionally and have time out from them that's not punishing or control that's just looking after ourselves go away and have a think about it with these difficult people you can be with them you just need really firm boundaries i feel and that can come with unconditional love as well so take care of yourself this week make your list of who loves you unconditionally you think and then who loves you conditionally and control and power will be the way you will see which is which one lot wants to control and have power over you conditional the other lot don't and you want to be with them more difficult people are going to be difficult with everyone remember that and usually there's a lot of damage so try also to show compassion for them because difficult people are struggling in themselves because that's why they're so difficult and some people are really unfortunate they really have had really hardship in their life and uh, loss and tragedy and you need to be aware of that you might have had a much happier life than them with less challenge than they've had so be good to people be kind to people but make sure you be kind to yourself first so i'm sending you lots of love this week and i hope it's an interesting love week for you